made you decide to do a thousand mile walk? Well, this might sound strange, but I don't think I had another choice. You didn't have a choice? I had to do something. And get around the bend. I mean, anyone to walk a thousand miles for no reason and not to make any money out of it at the end of it. I mean, that's totally crazy to me. <laughs> yeah. And what are you going to achieve from it? I don't know. I guess that's what I have to find out. I got my hands on this book, actually. It's the writings of this woman who was known as Peace Pilgrim. And I've been trying to find some of the answers that she talks about. As she walked 28,000 miles back and forth across the United States. Why would you do that? She was on a pilgrimage for peace and to spread her message of peace. One person walking 28,000 miles. I don't think one person would make such a big impact on everyone. I mean, if there was hundreds of them, I could understand it. But for one woman, they probably didn't even notice her. People did notice her. And by the end of her life, she was giving speeches all across the country. And people were, were walking with her. Really? Yeah. And all that just for peace of mind? All kinds of peace, inner peace, peace between individuals, and the big one, world peace. She just sounds like somebody round the bend, somebody totally crazy to me. I mean, for someone to do that, there must be something you know, crazy about them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought too, actually. I yeah. thought maybe she must have just been a crazy old woman. Yeah. But then I read her book, and her book is like philosophy. She was, she was enlightened. She was a mystic, you know. She was like Gandhi, like Jesus. I put her, I put her in that same realm. So she actually had an effect on other people's lives. She still does. Really? Yeah. She affected my life. <laughs>